Hello, welcome back to art and how we are going to draw this folk art bird. In El Salvador, which is a country in Central America, they create a lot of folk art. And the folk art is based on animals that they see in their everyday life, like turtles, birds, bunnies, other things like that. So we are gonna be drawing this bird today and painting it so that we can um, learn about line and background and folk art in El Salvador. So you're gonna start with a plain white sheet of paper and a black crayon. You can also use a black oil pastel. So to create this bird, we're gonna start with the body right in the middle. You are going to kind of draw, um, not a full circle or an oval, but it's gonna have a little angle to it. So you're gonna come down and around and retouching where you started. It gives it a little corner. This corner is where you're gonna put the beak. I'm just gonna draw a beak that goes straight out like that. It's basically a triangle on its side. We're gonna add the eye right next to the beak. It's a simple circle with a dot in the middle. Next, we're gonna add another pattern line next to the eye. So I'm gonna kind of come down. It's kind of like a rounded um, square, if you're gonna think of it like that. Next, we'll add the tail. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna go up and down and it's gonna be kind of a straight edge on the bottom to connect to the bottom. We wanna add the top, which is gonna be kind of, I call it like the flare of the bird. We're gonna add that detail. Also the wing, we can't forget the wing. And the way we're gonna draw the wing is coming up here and back towards the tail. So now we have the tail and the wing and the top of their um, feathers. We're gonna add the feet, which we're just gonna add little, um, kind of like little ovals, almost, just little feet. We're gonna color it in with the crayon. And the great thing about the crayon is that it has wax in it and it's like a barrier to the paint. So it should hopefully help your paint from spreading and mixing. Now let's add some detail to the bird. We're gonna add some line design. So I'm gonna add a line here and then two more to the side. This is gonna be the folk art version of showing feathers by creating some lines with the patterns. I'm gonna draw kind of another similar line here, straight across and then straight down. That could be the pattern on the tail. Now let's add some lines to the top of the feathers. I'm gonna kind of curve these a little bit. You can draw them straight too. And so now we have the whole bird, but we can't have the bird floating in outer space with nothing around it. So we're gonna draw a background and the background is what's behind them in the picture. It's not on the back of the paper, it's what's behind them around their body. So I'm gonna draw the land, I'm gonna draw the ground, um, but I'm gonna skip over the body because that's gonna show that my body is in front of the background in the foreground. So I'm gonna draw a, line, a curved line here, kind of like a hill. And then I'm gonna pretend and not draw for my bird. Don't draw for your bird. And you're gonna come over here and go swooping down. So now it looks like that bird is sitting on a little hill. I wanna draw the sun. I'm just gonna draw a simple circle in the corner. Then I wanna draw just a flower or a plant, something that is growing from the land. So I'm gonna draw a line up, but stop at my bird. I'm gonna draw just some simple leaves, some little circles. And then I'm gonna pretend that this is going behind its tail. So I'm gonna have this line go up, pretend we're going through the tail, but not going through the tail and draw a little line. And then I'm gonna draw some petals to my flower. I'm gonna keep it simple, little oval lines here, another one here. And then you can just draw like a frown line or an arch to make it look like a flower. And now we are done with our El Salvador folk art bird. So we wanna paint it. And the painting is gonna be very vibrant, which vibrant means bright and colorful. And so I'm going to bring my paints over here and I've got my water cup here and I'm gonna start painting with different colors. Well, remember when we're using our temper cakes, we have to get our brush wet first. So I'm going to leave my brush in the water, get it wet, and I'm gonna start with green. So I'm gonna swirl my paintbrush on my tempera cake. 
And now it's nice, it's wet, and it's full of color. I'm going to create pattern, patterns with my color, which is like repeating. So I think right here, I want to put a green. You can pick any color you want. And I'm going to paint inside to create a pattern. And a pattern would mean I'm going to skip this middle one and maybe do the green down here. So that gives me a pattern because it goes green and then green again, it skips in between. While I have my green wet and I'm using it, I'm gonna see, do I wanna put it anywhere else in my painting? I think I'm gonna add some to my leaves. So I'm gonna paint these green and this green. And I think I'm gonna add one more place of green in my tail. I'm gonna get my a little more green on my paintbrush. I'm going to add it here to the center. After I'm done using the green, I want to make sure that I'm washing my brush off really good. So I'm going to dab it in here, swirl it around, make sure it's all the way off, wipe my brush on the side, and I'm going to choose another color. I think I'm going to go with like an orange. So my orange is off camera and it's over here. I'm going to swirl it around, and then I'm going to add that orange to um, like the top, the top of their hair. So I'm gonna put some orange here, some nice bright orange. And so El Salvador is in Central America. And so they have lots of tropical plants and the rainforest. So we can use lots of colorful um, paint when we're painting this. I'm gonna go ahead and use it again to create a pattern with orange by skipping that middle. Get off my feet. And you're gonna fill it in. So this is how you can paint your folk art bird. If you would like to paint it with temper cakes, you can also use watercolor palettes. So I'm gonna wash off my brush and continue, but have fun making the rest of your folk art bird from El Salvador.